opening, the library here inside East Boston High was anything but hushed when the two winners were announced. Before they walked through the door to cheers and applause, <laughs> Kayla Elliott and Giuliani George thought they were just scholarship finalists with one more interview to go. Yeah, I was so nervous. I was texting everyone, like saying, I'm like, I gotta talk to them. I'm so nervous, I don't know what I'm gonna say. And then I saw the balloons and I was like, oh no. <laughs> the balloons were one clue. So were their families bursting with pride. After keeping the secret, some longer than others. I honestly didn't know until yesterday. They didn't tell me because I got a big mouth. Who was it, it to was keep so her? hard because I went to Kayla Saturday to pick up her prom dress and we're driving there and I just wanted to say, Kayla, guess what? The nonprofit group Scholar Athletes picked the winners from among the 5,000 students it mentors across Massachusetts and specifically among those interested in sports. We want them to really have a connection to being leaders, you know, being connected to their school community. So it's not necessarily tied to grades. Kayla and Giuliani's families both describe hardworking students who would have been successful in life, scholar or not, but now they get to start their adult lives at the college of their choice and debt free. I definitely would have had to take out loans, which I didn't want to do. I just want to say thank you. Like I'm very grateful for this. And more surprises are coming. Scholar Athletes plans to announce two more scholarship winners later this week in Springfield. In East Boston, David Beenick, WCVB News Center 5. What?